What's going on boys? No guys here. Now we have a very meta team for you. All the attack, all five star, five star. Let's get straight into it. No messing around. Now the first card we want to go over is Griezmann. Now I actually love this Griezmann card. Um, this Griezmann card has been one of my favorite cards. I bought him for 600k. He's gone up now to about 700k, but definitely it's worth the money. Five foot nine, five star, five star. This is, I wanted the entire attack of this team to all have five star, five star. So Griezmann, one of my favorite cards. Um, you can see the stats speak for itself, but to be honest, you don't even need to even look twice. Put a hunter on him. He's already got the pace. He's already got the passing. He's already got the dribbling. He's got everything and he's got the physicality. A lot of players, they lack a few things here and there, but this Griezmann has everything. It would be better if he's a bit faster, but with a hunter on him, it resolves that issue. He's got near about 99 finishing as well with a hunter. Got the shot power, the composure, and of course, he's got the 99 stamina and heading accuracy and 97 agility and 90 balance. Definitely one of the best cards in the game without a shadow of a doubt, especially for that price range as well. And next thing we're going to go with Ribery. Now, this is going to be a bit complicated how we get there, but everyone gets full chemistry. I'll show you that in a second. Ribery, another one of my favorite cards. Honestly, this card is fantastic. Very, very similar. Ribery did have an SBC as well, don't forget. But this one is the tradable option. This is why I always like those tradable cards. So yes, he doesn't got he hasn't got the better passing than that SBC card, but he's still got the near about five foot seven, five star, five star. Really, really good with that agility and balance. He's got the pace naturally. Finishing is good, attack positioning. He hasn't got the agility. That is the only downside with this Ribery card. But because he's five foot seven. You don't really need that agility because he already has that maneuverability because he's much more shorter and he has a lower center of balance. You know what? There's not that many other players you can get really for this price range. Um, we talk about Janola on the higher one, but you know he hasn't got the agility and balance where Ribery does have that. So it pretty much speaks for itself. So Ribery definitely goes inside that team. Now another one I wanted to go over, another card over here, and it's a new card, and it is Mr. Cherky. Now Cherky, I'll be honest, when I first saw him, um, I thought he was a really good card. Now, does he replace Neymar? It's it's a tough one. I don't think he replaces Neymar. I mean, like, even, you know, just as a, just a general example, and I have the gold Neymar, right? Just as a general example. Does he replace gold Neymar, the goat Neymar? It's tough to say. Now, stats-wise, you can argue Cherky does have some benefits. He's got a bit better shooting and a bit better passing um, but Neymar does have that unique dribbling animations and that is one of the few reasons why maybe I would lean towards someone like Neymar but the rest of his stats are better um, so he's got the better GL team balance five star five star five foot nine and he's got the stamina as well so I see this card as more of a winger now he does lack that finishing that is the only downside you know we look at someone for example like Neymar as an example one of my favorites in the team um, yes he's got 83 but Neymar just one of those unique players I think that 93 composure makes his finishing much better than for example a card like this but nonetheless this card is still very very good it's five star five star speaks for itself it goes in just like that and then to finish it up, um, I didn't really know exactly who to go for this one. I was kind of debating left and right. And what I decided to go with is Alejandro Gomez. Now, this does push the budget for this team up exponentially. But you can see Alejandro Gomez, five star, five star, with a hunter again, still one of probably one of the best attackers in the game. And all these players got a good agility and balance. Part Ribri, but Ribri can still move. And I like these cards because they maneuver. It's probably going to be one of my favorite team builders that you're going to see me make as you can see we've got the stats there everything speaks for itself 99 agility and balance 1 million coins but it's worth it now how does the chem work out this is the issue but don't worry we've got some players in so let's start with the back line we've got Montiel we put him in he's a good card got the pace got the defending as well um high medium and you can literally either put an anchor on him or you can put a shadow I would recommend a shadow still um, but for those that are really concerned about the defender, you can put an anchor on him and it pretty much sorts that issue out there. For the opposite side, we've gone with Fran Garcia, a new a new addition. I wanted to put some new cards in as well, just so you guys can try things out here. High, medium, good pace as well. Exact same thing. I'll put a, You can put a shadow, or if you're not sure, you can definitely put an anchor on him as well. And then we go to the to the midfield, which you know, midfield we'll come back to, because the midfield is there for a specific reason. Goalkeeper for chemistry, we've gone with mine, and he's a... Pretty decent card. Mike Nan is actually a pretty good card. I like him. Uh, I wish cards like these, look, 
if they had a, a better league would be one of the few things if you had a save with the so-called save with feet trade which I always considered god tier um but if you had a bit better height probably be one of the best goalkeepers in the game you can argue definitely goes in there now for the two center backs you've got two of the new cards we got kalulu and um he's a very very good card medium high six foot with a shadow 90 defense awareness top tick card speaks for stars got the short passing as well and he's got the good agility bank which is still very important for a center back arguably one of the best center backs or at least at top 20 in the game in my in my opinion in my eyes and then next then we do have now i think it's badia shali badia badia shilly badia shal apologies i mispronounced this individual's name um but this is additionally another new card as well uh people have been hyping him up he does lack the agility and balance but i think next to someone like kalulu i think he would probably get away with it you can always change this card out um you can always go with a cordoba even um but we've gone with him i think you know i'll give him a try 96 sprint speed yes he could be better i mean it's another card you can use there instead but i'll come back to that in a second then we go over to the midfield now to get chemistry here we have gone with marquisio this is solely to get chemistry on Ribery, um, but you don't need Marquisio in your team. I've gone with Marquisio because Ribery still gets the full chemistry from the French links. So we've got Sissoko next to him. So I'm just going to do it like this first. Sissoko, you can see we get almost maxed out chemistry. The one we're going to go here is going to go for someone like Vieira. And then we're going to go with Liga Santander. So you can see here, we get the chemistry of Alejandro Gomez and Fran Garcia gets two. If you want, you can really put a Spanish guy there. And then midfield, look, so now you kind of have free warrant to do whatever you want. You can technically put anyone here. Look, there isn't, look, if I had the money or if you had the money, this is why I wanted to say 3 million coins, but you can adjust it. So if you have the money, look, go ahead and put someone else here. So there's actually a good sentiment. You've got the Kante, you've got the Makaleli, the new car, which I think is a really, really good. I do, do think this is probably a tad bit too defensive. If you're asking me for my liking, I think this is maybe too defensive. But you can put that Makaleli card in. Not to even put Suzuka in. You can switch them around because you see Makaleli, he still gives chemistry. So you kind of have a choice on who you want to put here. And I think this is one thing that I want to introduce this year is giving players like yourself just choice to who to put in. Now, for a traditional center mid, you need one CDM and one center mid. Most done, most of you guys done a Zidane card, you can put Zidane in. Or you can put the Pogba in. If you're not sure, a Gwenduzi or a Sizoko are pretty good cheap cards that can get the job done. Now, this is an, a card that um, has been hyped, but again, it's an SBC. I think he's hyped rightly so, but he's an SBC, so that's something you've got to bear in mind. So there isn't that much. You know, you can have, of course, the Cantes, the Vieiras, everything else speaks for itself. You can see in my team actually here, before I change to it, I'm actually using Vieira and Wijnaldum. That is the way that I'm doing it. So if you haven't got the coins, and you do this on a cheap, you can just put a Gwenduzi in and you can put a Suzoko. Just like that, okay? If you've got the money, you can put someone like a Makaleli in or a Vieira. I'm sure most of you, or you should have at least done this Vieira card if you haven't making a big mistake. Now for the person next to your centre mid, look, you can go with anyone realistically. You can go with anyone attacking. You can go with like a Modric if you want to. Modric, of course, it pushes the budget up. But that is a very, very good card. If you're not, then at the budget, you can literally just go with a Gwen Doozy, someone cheap like that. Someone that can shoot, get the job done. Um, but you can, in theory, go for anyone in La Liga as well. Um, in La Liga, you do have the likes of De Jong. There's actually a, a couple of good centre mids. You have De Jong and a few others like that as well. It depends on who you really want to go with. You do have Pedro, although he can't shoot. Otherwise, you can just go with this, this Modric card over there. So you've got a pretty good team. So how does it look like in the chemistry? So for 4 2 3, one, you literally have complete four control. Now, what I would probably do is I would probably do something like this. That's the way that I'll do it. I'd always put Griezmann in striker just because overall he has everything and he's got the physicality, which these three players don't have to hold off the strikers. That's how I'll do it in a 4 2 3, one. Gomez, because he's got the top tier GL team balance for that height. But a 4 one 2 one 2 I would say you can drop someone to midfield. It's up to you who you want to drop. I dropped here um, Cherky. Um, same thing like that. If you are playing a 4-4-2 or 4-2-4, anything of that nature, again, you have complete free room. But the way that I would do it is actually just like this as well. I would say Ribery and Cherky kind of, I prefer them on the wings. And if you're going with a 3-5-2, which I still think is one, probably one of the most underrated formations inside the game, I'd probably go something like this as well and then put Shaky on the wing there and I'll put Montiel there and then I'll put um, 
Lulu maybe on the right hand side because he's got a bit better pace. Um, yes, agility balance for then. And if you're going for the classic 4 3 2 on, which is one of the most meta formations here, you can have Modric the person staying back, and then you can have it like, like this inside the game, and then you can show where you want to put it. It's up to you. Modric stays back, this player goes forward, or you can put it this way, and that player goes forward. And then I'll put Cherky, the attack inside on that, just like that. But that is, of course, a 3 million coin squad builder. Probably one of the best 3 million coin squad builders I think I've ever built. Um, just because you've got the pure agility and balance. And as I said, you haven't got the money, you can always put Makaleli or put someone else in, the Granduzzi or Suzuki for a cheap. But anyway, guys, that is the video complete. Don't forget, if you do want to get better at FIFA, you can come join FIFA School Series, patreon.com, forward slash no guys, links on the left hand side. And it's probably one, as I said, it's probably one of the best teams that I built. Everyone's got a top tier agility and balance. And for 3 million coins, it's an absolute steal. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.